happy Sunday. Just, just got up. Happy Palm Sunday, period. Happy Palm Sunday. So, so I'm going to get ready for church. Got stuff everywhere. What's Afro Big Star? Blue. What's that called? Blue Bonets. Happy Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. I guess we need some palms, don't we? Do we need a palm to go to church? I know, I remember when we were little, we used to carry the little palm from a palm tree. We'll make a little cross and carry it to church. <laughs> I don't see that here. But I remember that was a Palm Sunday. We went to Sunday school with a little palm tree, a little cross made with a palm. Ah! Remy's looking at me like I'm crazy. Whatever, Remy. Letting people know. Where did that go? Downstairs? Hi, Foxes. You already went downstairs? Okay. Well, no, it's okay. Okay. Oh, my TV. Think I have one. Well, they hear voices. They see nobody. Alright, let me let me get back to you guys. So, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go brush my teeth, wash my face, take a shower, get ready for church. See you all. Okay, guys, I'm in the closet trying to find what I'm going to wear for church. Oh, jeez. We had decluttered this closet, but sheesh. I don't think. It's kind of cold outside today. It's Palm Sunday. I wanted to wear something springy, but it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. I want to wear black. We're not doing black. Maybe I could wear this scoop dress with a nice blazer, but it's so cold that I need an over. I need a, I need a jacket, an outer jacket. And if I go to church, I don't want my sleeves to be, my arms to be exposed. So let's look over on this other side. Because I don't, I don't know what I see. Oh, okay. Shoes. I think I just pulled this Zara dress. Yeah. It has, um, Patent leather trim. It's a houndstool. It's a little heavy. It has sleeves. So, yeah, I think I will. This is what I'll wear to church. And uh, let me find boots wise. I think I will wear the Zara patent leather boots. Voila. Yay. I think that's what I'm wearing today. It's more befitting. So now I gotta go find a bag. Guys, I'm looking a mess. Oh, I didn't even turn the light on. Let's see here. So I just found the Zara dress. It's what we're gonna wear. It's a house too. Uh, Zara boots, voila. That's what I'm wearing to church today, guys. Let's go get a bag. All right, now I'm trying to get ready for church, but hubby keeps taking my time. He got no ring lights. Shish. All right, so guys, I gotta brush my teeth. I'm almost out of my uh, herbal toothpaste. Is it Okay, I need to go get some more. Either I get it from Amazon. These are all the ingredients on here. Let's see this. Girl, it's almost out. I have to go. Maybe for the bomb. Wait, miss. Let me brush. And then we get ready.
Alright, time to go to the shop or shower time, shower time, shower time, shower time. Time to shower, people. Not that I'm gonna show you guys, but we have the water running. Okay, so I'm gonna This is the collagen. This is the Australian skincare. This stuff is really good, guys. I actually <clears throat> got this at Burlington, but I try to restock every time they have it because it's so good. It keeps your face really tight. This is the collagen. Okay, my next one, I have to rush through this, is the Hyaluric one. It's another couple of drops. Drop here, drop there, drop there, drop there. Now let's put that to put under my chin. You guys know I used to have a double chin. <laughs> Especially when I was pregnant with Remy. So because of that, when you lose weight, you get that little excess skin, and that's like my worst area. I was skinny, but I still had a double chin. But when I was pregnant with Remy, I was super, I gained a lot of weight and got a double chin. So when I got back to my weight, I started seeing a little, the older I get, I started seeing a little wrinkly. Next one will be vitamin C. So this came in a pack. If you ever was to go to Burlington, it's an Australian skincare, and they, uh, it's really super, super good. This is the vitamin E. See, see the glow. See the glow. It's an Australian skincare. Okay, my hair is coming apart. So. This that. So now I'm gonna top it up with a gold bond. Face and body. Vitamin C cream. I'm still gonna use this all over my body because I'm out of my crepe gold bond. Do you see that glow, huh? Super glowish. Okay. All right, gold bond is good for everything. So usually, guys, this is the age renew is what I use for my skin. But you can see, your girl is out. Crepe corrector, so good for your skin, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the body bright. This is for your face and your body. This is what I'm gonna use all over my body, and then I'll see you all later. Alright guys, I have my dress on. Now I'm gonna grease my hair with this moringa and alma hairball pomade. That's what I use for my hair. Moringa is good for you. Usually I don't want grease in my fingernails, so I use this to do my scalp. Then I press it in. You will probably think Jack is crazy, but when I use my fingers, the pomade gets into my hair. So I use a little brush. Actually, it feels good. It feels like somebody else is greasing your hair. You know, when you grease your own hair, you don't feel it. And when somebody does it for you, it feels like 
you're getting a tiny little massage. So I usually have my husband and maybe sometimes I beg Remy, raise my hair please, because it feels really good. So in order for me not to get the sensation, I use the brush. It's like somebody is doing it. Feels like heaven. We have braids. You guys know how that is. It gets dry. Okay, so we got the Miranda, the Amla pomade. Everybody uses this. So I got to you know you get you can get this at Amazon. You can get it at any African store right here. Organic, good for your hair. Good for your scalp, especially if you have dry scalp. So that's good. Next thing I'm going to use is the Miranda All Natural Deodorant. Somebody keep wondering why does she keep using Miranda? Because I want to keep everything hair bump organic see that too you can get it at amazon or you could get it at your local african market moranga is the key the key word moranga is good for everything so that's that so now my hair is laid i'm gonna put a little bit of vitamin e for for the shine so my braids could be shiny just this is vitamin E even yeah vitamin E or oh, you can get this at any 99 cent store this is just to make my braids don't look so dull so voila get ready we got to leave here in the next few minutes I hate when this does this when this little thing comes out, just cut it out. This is Zara dress, guys. Let's cut that out. Or else I'm gonna keep talking it all day and it's gonna get on my nerves. So, we cut that out. My hair is greased. Now, I will probably put it up. I don't know yet. And then I'll do some, I'll do baby hair. Before I do the baby hair, I have to go do my makeup. I don't know. I'm just winging it, guys. That's just me. When I'm in a hurry, I wing stuff. Okay. My little brush that I use to lay my hair is broken, so I'm going to use a toothbrush. Yep. Yep. Every time I buy those brushes from the from the beauty supply store for some reason they break so let me go to the good old fashioned toothbrush does the same trick does the same trick What is she doing? She's trying to lay her little. You know, when you have braids, you only have like. My edges are growing, so I have all this raw hair that I need to tame down. I do not. I do not put chemicals on my hair. I don't. I can only color it, but I don't perm it. It's just all natural. So if I take it off, I will have a a fro. Okay. Yeah, so we are going to go do the hair and we'll be back. Alright, so I'm gonna lay down with the with 
that Chanel edge control. I'm not using this for church, just to lay my lay my hair down, you know. You can use it, you can style with it. You can just use it as a edge control band. So now let's go. Let's go do some makeup. Time for makeup. Talking about how windy it is. Yikes. Alright, so. Not quite as strong as what we're going to feel today. Wind advisory for everyone shaded in tan. This is where winds will be sustained. Don't want to hear you talk. You know what the weather is about. Okay. So we are going to use Essential Ageless my dark spots or we can use LA correct concealer I had a super stay I don't know which one to use oh this is the Maybelline fit I think I'll use this instead yeah that's what we are going to use Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Another mirror up here. All right, guys, so that's that. Let's beat this face. Hope you guys are having a happy Palm Sunday. I'm trying. Because I'm rushing through. I'm looking like a crazy person. But you know. At some point it's going to come together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Right. The Maybelline. It's a little too light. But we are going to fix that. So we are going to use. Oh, foundation wise we're going to use the true match by lumi let's see if i can we're using the true match by lumi guys i usually do super stay but i'm out of super stay i did buy one but then my sister mistakenly took it to london it's not even her shade so because when we went to Walmart and I bought bought one of these, I put it in her bag when she was buying all her gold bond to take to London. Because they don't have that there. And she mistakenly took my, my foundation. I'm like, huh? So I got to go to either Walmart or Alta to get another one. So, yeah, guys. It looks like it's, it's too bright, but it's too much. It'll blend in. Palm Sunday. I don't have a palm. <laughs> I remember when I was little, like I said, we used to walk around with a little palm that's made like a cross to go to Sunday school because it was Palm Sunday. Yes, child. My childhood was very interesting. My mama didn't play that mess. There was no open for discussion if you're going to church or not you are going to go to church it wasn't a, a situation we said nah i don't feel like it like who are you <laughs> we had we did not have that opportunity to sleep in to say i don't feel like it nope not at all 
everything was mandatory mandatory but these days you have to ask your kids do you want to go to church i try to instill that on remy i did instill that with my daughter but she that didn't, she, that didn't fly with her she only went when she wanted to but it is okay she still had a relationship with god it just this dress kind of seemed is our dress kind of seem a little big, but oh well. All right, we are going to use the Juvia's Place Cameroon Foundation Powder to have this setting. I don't do a setting lotion. I ain't got time. It's not a photo shoot. It's just me going to church. This will stay. It will stay. I will be looking good. Just want to make sure everything is the same little light but it's doing the trick we're blending in blending in blending in okay so as i'm washing through it's a get ready with me guys but take this off let's see if i can i can put some darkness on there you know a little bit of a little bit of foundation so there's not that much of a difference in discoloration Blushy, blushy. Okay. The next one will be I use this brush, this little glow. It's hard candy, but it's a glow. Put the glow on my cheek, on my T-zone, bronzer glow. All right. We're almost done here. A little glitter, a little shine. A little shine. Guys, my husband be making some strange sounds. If you guys, he, he act like he's about to, ooh, ooh. So if you hear those sounds, please ignore it. When he yawns, he just makes the biggest noises. Like he's trying to make himself known. Like, be quiet. I'm going to church. I'm trying to be nice, but. Every time I'm doing something, he's always making some yawning sounds. It's like, do you not see me doing a video? Be respectful. All right. I think Remy don't put him in check right there. So we're going to do the eye. Let's do the eye. Let's do the eye. Oh, God. I need to go shopping this. Remy, what time is it? Time to go? Church big inside a left. Huh? Okay, we got time. Wrong pencil. Like what in heaven's name? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Damn 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 damn. Okay, so we're just gonna let this work. I just didn't I just sharpen this thing. Let me find a one that's already well sharpened. Okay, you know what? I'm getting pissed off here. Okay, let's use this one. 
Alrighty. Peace, peace. It is coming through. It's coming. I can face you guys, but this is this is what I'm doing. Because my dresser mirror is this way. And my tripod is over here. It's a tall tripod. I don't have a little one to and my dresser table is full, guys. I don't have like a little, you know, space. So you guys can see me really do this. So you just gonna bear with me. This is what I'm working with. My husband says I need a bigger dresser. I'm like, I don't think so. This is just fine. It's not like a cosmetic kind of girl. So, not really. This is just fine for me. All right, my brush to do my eyebrow is here somewhere. But so for the meantime, I'm going to use a mascara brush. That's almost finished. And it, it does brush the eyebrows very well. Yes, people. <coughs> okay. Boxy charm. That's what we're going to. I do the black. That's when I do my eyebrows right here. Okay. The next one I'm going to use is the mauve color. Okay. Now we're going to use the gold underneath the eyebrow and brush that. Hmm. Just gonna use this close to my I lid in the front. Alrighty. So that's done. Okay, there is my mascara. So we're gonna use this mascara by um lengthening mascara by Nicole Miller. I did get that at Bollington too. Uh, not doing no artificial lashes so I'm just gonna use this mascara on my own lash it's a little thicker I like to maybe double it a little bit he said do twice. He says apply twice, so. Okay. my gold <clears throat> all right i'm gonna use the liner my eyeliner with i already have something on there but it's always good to this is what i do so line the lips
Okay, lips are lined. <coughs> I'm going to set it in and then we are going to use lipstick. We're going to go to Maybelline Super Stay. I was going to do my little kissy um, Rihanna fenty, but I think that's in my... I'm going to mix it up with that fenty. I don't want to be so pink, but I should though. Let me just put a little red. Just a little. Dab, dab. So I create my own color. Not so pink because it's not yet quite spring. So I'm gonna put my boots on and we I see you. All right, guys, we're in the handbag room. So I came to get a scarf because it is super cold and get a cough. Yeah, I need a silver cough though. Actually, I'll wear the I'll wear the low side one. So yeah, see you guys. All right, guys, this is my final touch. I do have. Oh, think that is so windy. I decided to wear it today. But this scarf is actually getting on my nerves, so I don't know. This is how I'm wearing. I got my Zara dress, Zara boots, and my car lager for bag. So, yep. See you guys later. Okay, so now I have on my heavy duty HM jacket because it's super cold, guys. So, I'll see ya. Alright guys, so we're on our way to church, but I have to dodge some tumbleweeds in my area. They, are, they have a life of their own. They just tumbling away. What's that? What we try? So, we're on the way, Mr. Remy looking fly. He's mm -hmm. like, mm hmm. It is super cold. Super, super, super cold. I had just bought this big old heavy duty jacket from HM. Didn't think I was gonna be able to use it this season or this year. But let me tell you. I'm glad I did. I'm not wearing the right shades, but <sighs> come on guys. Where everybody going? Oh, it's Palm Sunday. People go in the church, Jackie. You ain't the only one. Usually, come on. Usually, it's not. Oh, and guess what it's about to do? It's about to rain. It's drizzling. Hopefully, we can park in close by so we just run. Run, run, run. So, yes, happy Palm Sunday, guys. Don't have a palm. Take a pull. Alright, we're here. Let's go wash it. See you guys. Hopefully, my breast stays on my head because it's so good. I don't get a feature, Mr. Remy, that much, but. <laughs> I tell you, my.
my son. Sometimes I think he's a Gemini, he's a true Gemini, but you guys know he's a Virgo. His, his due date was September 28th. He's a Virgo, but he came early, which makes him a Gemini. Sometimes he does have that Gemini traits, like today. Let's see how he's walking so fast, leaving his mama on the, in the back. Yes, Father, for such a Heading to church. See you guys later. Alright, guys, we just got out of church. It was a good service. Church was good. It's super cold though. So now we are going to go get some coffee. I see somebody has the same color as my Jeep. Oh, we're packed over there. We're tweening. Guys, let me tell you, it was so windy, my beret almost came off. I'd be like, what? Okay, cannot be doing that. Ah. So guys, let's go get coffee. Then we'll go home and pick hubby because he wants to pick up something from the mall on a cold day. Maybe we can get brunch today. Don't know where we're going to go. Maybe somewhere in the mall. This is too cold to be driving now. For now, I need coffee. Because I left the house this morning with nothing but... I did have a cup of coffee earlier. That's like around 8 o'clock. Or 8.30. And a bottle of water. My, church, my stomach was growling in church. I felt like I was going to pass out. So let me go get a bottle of something. Something hot. So I'll see you guys. We are at Starbucks. <laughs> I gotta secure my beret so it don't go flying away. Not only is it cold, it is windy. Morocco, Morocco pages. My son is in my head. Thank you, Starbucks. May I have your name? Jackie. Jackie, what can I get for you? Can I get two hot cinnamon dolce latte? What's that? Grande. Uh, grande. Two grande cinnamon dolce latte hot. Hot, yeah. Okay. And one decaf americano tall. I'm sorry? One tall decaf americano. Okay. Hot. Okay. With, with two splendor and half and half. You got it. And two butter croissants. Can we? Warmed up, I'm sorry. You got it. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Jackie. $23.05. Alright. Do you want to use your app? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. You need transfers. You never know when there will be some points. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Yeah. Well, I got three. Uh, uh, Alright, you have it on there? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Look like it's not as cold anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just windy now. I don't know if I'm gonna need this big old jacket to go to the mall. <coughs> Ooh, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Can you put your water in the back? I'm gonna need a new dynamic space for your dad's uh, decaf. Put those in the leaves. I'm standing on a good heaven's name is with that coffee. Why we got to wait? Oh god. I think they have turned this on the dark side, so I think I see makeup. It's gonna be twenty three oh five. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Thank you. That's this one. Okay. 
So I'm gonna need napkins. I don't know why they give you this and you don't give you no napkins. What do you want me to do? Lick my hands? Well, I gotta ask for napkins. Is yours warm enough? Yeah. Why give me the croissant if the latte is not ready? Come on, people. Latte first, croissant last. Mm -hmm. So the croissant don't get cold. You just mm -hmm. have to take it back inside. What the? Come on now. My time to bring my trip, my croissant be cold. Yeah, you should sit with those lattes. All right. That's yours. That's mine. Was it grande? Did I want grande? Jeez, it's so big. I should have asked for a top. And decaf Americano. Thank you. Can I get a stopper and some napkins? I could use some napkins, but we are out of stoppers today. Okay, that's fine. I'll take napkins. And a straw. Two straws. Sorry? Two straws. Yes. Thank you. Well, you guys always out of stoppers. I know. So, so <laughs> Don't sorry. mind me. It's okay. okay. Have a good day. All right. As if you know me, I'm always, I'm, I'm a ball crusher. <laughs> I'm always trying to give somebody a hard time. He's, he's nice. Just, but they're like, this Starbucks is always out of something. Don't make me go to the one that they don't have a drive to. I just didn't feel like, you know, driving over there. This is my usual. Okay, it's still cold now for all that. I think that croissant is cold. Oh, no. It's still warm. Nice. I'm so hungry, my stomach. My stomach was doing strange things in church. I'm like, mm, I'm hungry. This is too big. Why was I listening to you say grande? I should have gotten a tall. Way too much. I'm gonna save some for later. something online and it's not here yet so I wanna go uh oh, oh. I wanna go yes. find out where they do live. Yeah. yeah not them two girls trying to get a parking lot not go to well and not to be handicapped. Probably sisters. I look like girlfriend and girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> she, look, she look like she'll kick your ass. I was so close to the car. I just yeah, she just turned around and I was like, girl, a parking lot ain't going nowhere. There she goes. Yikes. Anywho, I keep forgetting my waterfall. My waterfall. One day we go going to eat at this bar place. It's a bit of a happy hour. Kind of small spot. Huh? It's, a, it's, it's a shame that I know these things. You all don't know where you're going. Easter sun. Oh, the Easter bunny is out. Make a quick stop at 
H and M if they will let me. But they're so bent on the sneakers. I don't know. I actually had something to exchange at H and M. I bought a dress at a different H and M. It has a hole in it. Oh, look at that denim. Denim up. Dem denim up on denim. We got a denim craze. Sorry. Denim. I need a long denim jacket. Oh, I love them jeans. Those are cute. That's, I gotta go in here. So Remy keeps following me like he needs me. Uh, we're going to this time it's not food locker this time it's shit yeah the music is some kind of loud music 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 so guys i'm here about to try and some some nike red bottoms this one is just plain Nike. Let's let me show you. I only really like it because it's cheap. It's on sale for sixty-four dollars. Nike. I love the fact that there are some red bottoms. So I don't mind that. The man trying to make me into a sneakerhead. There was another white one that she took away. It's, 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 I'll see it. I'll show you guys later. All right, guys. So there are the red bottoms. Nike. I'm gonna get around here somewhere. Okay. I like it. Okay. I'm coming to see you guys. Not doing well. I don't do well with sneakers. Oh, we got these red bottoms. These are low tops. I don't know how to tie, guys, so don't blame me. I have a very high arch, so I look kind of crazy. And hey, this is cute. Oh, guys, we're at H&M. Oh, let's look at their denim collection. This is my drink. It is the Bahama Mama is what I'm having. Hey guys, welcome. We are home. We are in the humble abode. So, let's figure out what I'm putting on my face. I'm to change the glasses. 
because the curing light is reflecting through it. Tom Ford was not doing the the teas. Yeah, this is super vintage. I forgot I had this way back when. 2010. I had this Tom Ford glasses. Got from Nostrum Nostrum. I don't pull out my vintage glasses. How cute is that? See, I don't pull this out more often because I spent a pretty penny. Back in the day, money was not what it is today. People get money these days easily and they just spend it easily. But then we had to work hard to be able to afford a top four of a Chanel or a Gucci. Yeah, these days money comes easy to people. Those are my two vintage I'm looking for. Vintage Chanel is what I'm looking for. Oh, another vintage Fendi. Look at that. You guys have seen this before, but this is this is 2009 or 8. Fendi. We're doing glasses here because we don't have nothing better to do. The only reason I do not like these Fendi glasses, they sit right here on my cheeks. You know, and when I wait for a long time, if I take it out, I have a little mark. But they're vintage, so they stay. <clears throat> Cost me a pretty penny. Old, another old, I won't say vintage. Old Prada. Authentic old glasses. Old Prada. Another one that sits right here on my cheekbone. That when I take out, it gives me a, a little mark. This is what I have on my old vintage. Other drawer. This is 
Now where did that turn out? It's up here. Oh. Yes, I need to I need to arrange some of these sunglasses. The old Carter case right here. Oh. This is still in the case, my oh. Oh, Prada, another one. Spring is coming. We gotta start looking for our sunglasses, the old and the new. It's like, you know, everybody's having the new and improved pieces. What are we supposed to do with the old ones? Chuck them away? You know, I'm still gonna wear them. <clears throat> we are still gonna wear them. Valentino. Oh no. I'm looking for an old, old Fendi. A vintage Fendi black. And I can find it. Nope. I have to rearrange this. I have to. I have two sunglasses sections one in my bedroom and one in here All right. so what i'm looking for i don't seem like it's here oh there it is Yay. okay i wonder if this is still dark but right, we shall see i wonder this is my old old back in my retail days Fendi glasses more than 10 years old close to like 15 years so I, I don't know if I would call this a vintage but I was looking for this earlier and it bothered me that I couldn't find it I thought maybe one of my sisters took it but still here okay now that I find it I'm at peace so now guys I've shown you all some of my old glasses. You can tell your girl ain't got nothing to show. That's why she's here playing with you all. You're like, what are we doing, Jackie? So we are going to do a little show and tell, but nothing luxury. Just, I didn't have nothing to show you guys today. I really didn't. I haven't been shopping luxury like that. I've been looking for affordable dupes, which you guys have seen. So, I haven't really done any luxury shopping. And not even affordable shopping for, for, for me, just mostly for you guys. You know, something I could bring to you guys, you know, without, without us breaking our little bank account. This we want to look cute. So, you guys, you know I'm not a sneaker sneaker girl. Oh God, what the? Like Jackie, wear those glasses. I didn't realize they were so foggy until I put them on. They came out of the drawer, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking they are looking clean, but they're not. So I have three of these Chanel transparent glasses. We have the black, which is this one. We have a gray. And we have like maybe a gold one. I like wearing these things. Yeah, so. What is the whiteness? What are these white things around here? Oh. I don't know what these are. I don't know. I don't know. But anywho. So, let's put it on. So we can look like we are. Uh, we're professors or, you know. Like we have some brains. Like we're about to go lecture a class. Or we have a doctorate on something. I don't have a doctorate. Not even a master's. <laughs> but anywho. <clears throat> so. Like I was saying, I'm not a sneakerhead, but you guys are going to see where we went shopping. Because my 
husband is a sneakerhead, so he tries to make us all love sneakers. I mean, Remy is a, a, a junior sneakerhead, head, but my husband is the kingpin of sneakerheads. <laughs> he loves him so. He do not wear dress shoes. It's all about sneakers and sneakers and uh, yeah. So now he's trying to push me towards that part, which I'm not. I'm really, I have a very high arch, guys. When I wear flat shoes, I look stupid. I walk stupid and I look stupid. And I just don't have the posture that I need with my heels. But anyway, to make him happy, because I think that's his happy place. He bought me two pair of tennis shoes. If you guys know, you see it and the thing, I got some Nikes. Air Force Ones. Why are the Air Force Ones? I already have an Air Force One in a pink. Why did I get... Is this like a red bottom? Ha <laughs> ha! Red bottom Air Force Ones. So I figured if I'm gonna walk around... Oh my God. This is not a girl size. But it fits me. Okay, my husband is playing with me. This is a boy's six and a half. I told him I wanted female. I mean, they were comfortable. Didn't feel as soft as it should be if they were female. But I just love the fact that they were um, they were red bottoms or orange bottoms, or whatever. This is red bottoms. I just he wanted to get me a red bottom like this on um uh, on sale online i think those were hundred and something dollars and had told him not to so when we went to shake today the guy showed us because uh, we saw it in a men's and i asked for the women's and he took us towards this section which now i'm looking to see they are freaking boys i mean they do fit me but i don't know we have we're going to see they have to let me know. I want to see the female version. Because the men's are a little hard. So we got that. <clears throat> this is fun. Shit. Here's another one. Now these are high tops. I'm getting too stuff already because I told him it has to be women's. Yeah. This two is a six and a half boys, but they say eight for, for ladies. Ah, another Nike. This is just plain old. It's not Air Force One. Just plain old Nike. Another red bottoms. That's the only reason I was, I was accepting these things because they were red bottoms. I'm like, if I'm gonna wear a sneaker all day. Play. It says right there. It's going to be a red bottom, so I can be stylish. Hmm. And this is a high top with a Velcro. You guys will see me try it on. They're comfortable, they fit me. But for some reason, I feel like the women's tennis shoes are a little softer than the men's. I don't know if he knew that, but we are have to. I'm not gonna wear those until I double check if they have it in a women's size. I don't know if I like it that much that they were boys not that it makes a difference somebody's gonna say jackie as long as it fits you no they're not the same because he had bought me a pair of um jordans that were men's the one with green i could never wear those tennis shoes because i feel like they're so hard they were men's but then they got it in a smaller size and it's just sitting in the garage looking at me he paid a hundred and some dollars for those and then he got me the black and white um, what I was gratitude. Those are like almost three freaking hundred. I've worn that twice. They're not that comfortable. Don't care for them. Money wasted. And then he got me the pink Air Force ones. Those are women's and those are super, super comfortable. So I like those because they were women's. So right now I have how many tennis shoes that he's trying to push me into? One, two, three, four, five pair of sneakers. I'm not a sneaker head, but I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I look funny when I wear those things. I really do. Because <laughs> that's not what your girl wears. I wear heels. I wear dress shoes. I don't walk around with freaking sneakers. I'm not a 
I mean, I was a tomboy when I was younger. Yeah, but I'm a lady now. What am I walking around with tennis shoes for? Or sneakers? Yeah, for those of you who are sneaker heads, don't come for me. Okay? I like what I like. It is what it is. All right. So while we were out there, I went to H and M. It's not a haul, oh, but you guys will see me. I bought this uh, denim jacket. I had gotten the long one from Zara. I haven't even showed you my Zara one yet. The one day I'll show you. But I bought this cargo light jet denim. It wasn't on sale. It hurt my heart. It was $41.99. Only because this is large was the only one they had left. The rest of them were smalls and extra small. If they had more than... I had more than... Maybe if they had more than one large or two mediums, I would have waited but they didn't so i paid 41 dollars full price it's not what jackie does and then i got the skirt that was behind it super cute the same washed light color denim and this one was 34 dollars honey this says it's a size 8, but it's super big. I have to try it on. I have to style it so you guys can see it. The girl told me, like, oversize is what they were going for. So we're going to see how cute the oversize looks. Not cutting the tags until I really make sure I like it. Being that, you know, I was watching... Milan train fashion train 2024 spring they were showing a denim collection they show how you can style your denims i got a cargo jeans on sale this is 19.99 i'll find of myself that i found something on sale cargo very soft relaxed denim it has a drawstring so we can wear it as a drawstring or we can wear it I said full, full leg of pants. It's very soft, elasticized. Look like it's been, you know, recycled or pre-washed. I'm like for nineteen dollars. Why not? So yeah, that's what, that's what I got today. That was my shopping spree. Okay. okay. For handbags, I went back to Burlington to see if they had the um, classic. Um, where's the bag I have on today? Where's my bag? Am I sitting on it? Oh, you know, the classic bags, the Carl Lagerfeld. Ouch! Jesus, people, I almost fell. What am I doing? The chair kind of tricked me. So I went to see if they had. More of the classic car Lagerfeld bags at Burlington because I had watched somebody's video and this particular Burlington in Florida had all kinds of car Lagerfeld and I was stupidly jealous because I love me some car Lagerfeld bags. I would take a car Lagerfeld bag over a Chanel any day. You know why? Because he was the creator directive of, uh, director of Chanel. So he knows exactly what he was doing. When he made his own bags, he made them into perfection. Okay, so you guys remember I got the pink, um, I got the pink tweed that I'm saving to carry on Easter Sunday in this, in this style, in the classic flap with the Mademoiselle Tom Lock. I went, I saw somebody was doing a video, Dion Dean, I'll at you. She showed uh, uh, somewhere in Florida, they had it in white, they had a tweed in white. So I decided pff, I'm going to my Burlington to see if I find that tweet. I went to two freaking Burlington's here and they didn't have any more. They didn't even, they had that one pink that I already had, but there was somebody already was unlocking it while I was standing right there because I was going to get it for, for, for Sandra. But it only had one and a lady was already asking for it. So I was looking for the white ones. The white. I don't have it here. So I know where I got to go. San Fernando Valley. 
I think the Burlington there is a bigger Burlington, so I'm sure they will have it there. But uh, I was so disappointed that they didn't have any more of the tweed and the white. And then they had all the smaller ones. You know who else might have it? I might check. It's Ross. But the last time I went to Ross, they didn't have any car bags, but this one. Burlington seemed like, seemed like they just took all the bags. Maybe TJ Maxx. I was going to go to TJ Maxx today, but we were tired after eating. Hobby say you still want to go to TJ Maxx. I'm like, nah, I'll save that for another day. So, but anyway, not to sidetrack because I'm good for that. While I went there, I got another tote, a call tote. And there's something about this tote that I'm pissed off about. This tote. Okay. Do we need another black tote? We have a black one like this, but instead of the colors, it has a car right here it might look redundant to you but to me it's two different things now when i saw dion dean's um haul at burlington she she was this she was showing this bag in one of her shopping videos and it had a little pouch with the same colors a car like a a, a round coin purse hanging on here for the same price which was $59.99 but it retails for $229 if you go to the car store that's what you would pay or that's the suggested retail price but when she showed it I had already bought this bag so I saw it had a little pouch in the corner I was like wait a minute where's my pouch so I opened to see if the pouch was in here no such thing so I feel like Somebody took the little round patch out of here. I'm not going to use this bag until they tell me where the pouch went because it came with a pouch. But somebody took mine, took my pouch. You know, so I'm waiting to see if they bring some more or if I see it somewhere else, I'll buy the one with a little, little coin purse hanging with the colors that says car right there. And then this will go back. So this is cute. So guys, tell me if this is the same thing. Because you know, this is the one I got. This one is Burlington. This is All Faith. I got this one from All Faith for a hundred and so just a retail price for this one. Let's, let's find out. $2.78. This was uh, two years ago when they were doing the Met Gala and they were paying homage to, to Carl. So I got this with his face on it. So now I have that. Is it the same thing? Am I being silly? <laughs> Is it redundant? I don't know. But I think if I had a pouch with it, I won't care for it that the fact that it's missing it's the same size this one was a little pricey 279 but i pay on sale they had marked it down i pay 114 dollars burlington has the same thing they all call lagerfall okay 228 that was 279 this was 228 and i paid 59 dollars only because it just has the name carl and then it says you know, Carl Lagerfeld Paris right there. The fact that I did not get my pouch and pissed. I am pissed, pissed, pissed. The girl do not like to be cheated. Inside is the same as the other one. I wish they had it in a different color. But they had a tote that had a denim blue. So I don't know. If they don't come through, this will go back and I'll get the denim blue one that says Carlotta Fold everywhere. You guys saw the backpack that I had. They had a denim tote that in blue that says it has the same print, but in blue, they had that. So if I don't find my pouch, I'm going to exchange it for the denim tote, just like this, but in this in this design but in blue so just 
I'm just saying. So if you all see that blue, don't say, oh, God. Not another car lager fault. But listen, guys. If you can want to go crazy to get a Chanel bag, like, oh, my God, I want a Chanel. Yes, I have Chanel. I love Chanel. But with this time, we can... The person that brought Chanel to the forefront... Okay, don't get me wrong. Coco, Coco Chanel was it back then. But when... It wasn't as popular as when Carl, okay, when Carl Lagerfeld took over. Carl, as a creative director, brought Chanel to this level. Coco was down here, and then Carl brought it to this level. So if you can struggle or save and save to get a Chanel bag, why not get something from the creative director himself, who is Carl Lagerfeld, okay? He made sure he made his bags to perfection. Guys, I, I'm trying to tell you, do you know how many repairs I took when I worked for Chanel? Women complaining, oh, my bag is, my bag is tearing, it's, it's coming apart here. It shouldn't do that for all the money I paid, blah, blah, blah. The key, the thing is unraveling. There's color transfer. You ain't gonna get this for Carl Lagerfeld. I'm not pushing Carl the way I think. May he so rest in peace. But his bags, his bags are everything. No matter how much you throw this bag around, it's gonna withstand. It's 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 time. With Chanel bags, they're lambskin, they're so delicate that you're so scared to even put it on the floor, like, oh my god, my bag is gonna scratch. This will never happen with Carl Lagerfeld. Carl Lagerfeld bags. What the hell? What's that? This will not happen with Carl. Look at the chain. It's heavier than a Chanel chain. Okay. This is iridescent pattern leather. You guys have seen this. This is the reason I'm showing you this because this is what I wore to church today. It was I did a crossbody. I wore it as a shoulder to church, and then when I went shopping, I did a crossbody with it and put it against my shoulder, which my hands were free and very comfortable. This is super durable. You paint a faction. Car Lagerfeld bags run for the highest, I think it's 300 and something. But if you get them at a discount store, you get them for less these days. It depends what it is. Maybe less than 120 or less than 100. Why take 8,000 and give it to Chanel when you can sure, get your car, okay? Even with the new creative director right now, is this... Uh, she ain't doing such a great job. Virginia is not doing a great job, whatever her damn name is. Mademoiselle Tom Lock right here. Carl was the man, okay? Who who didn't want a Carl? Who didn't want a Chanel when Carl was creative director? So he decided, I'm making all this money for, for Chanel. Why can't I do my own brand? So he started his brand, even though he's passed on, they're still following his footsteps and making exactly the things he wanted so i wore this to church i have one and the reason i carried this bag is because i was wearing my zara house tooth dress it's trimmed with patent leather so i figured you know this bag will go so well with it and then uh -oh. i'll be dropping stuff everywhere people We got this too. Alright, so yeah, this is how I went to church. I had on my big coat because it was super cold in the neck of my woods. And my big coat was from HM. So this is how I went to church today, guys. And my boots are patent leather, old school Zara. I got this too when I work retail. Zara and my uh, Pantyhose are by Chanel. So, yeah. I could have easily carried a Chanel patent leather bag when I wanted to carry a car because it's different. It keeps some people wondering who don't know about car. Because when I went to another Burlington, even the lady, she seemed like a manager. She had a walkie-talkie. And I couldn't find no car bags at this other Burlington. So I saw her. I said, excuse me. She was like, yes. I said, do you have their car Lagerfeld bags? And she said, who? 
I said, call Lagerfeld. She said, um, you can check at the handbag section. I said, I went over there and I didn't see any. So do you have it locked somewhere? Because at my bowling thing, they're like all locked up, but then the up front. She says, no, what you see is what you get. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, thank you. She didn't even know what car was. Are you a manager? Come on now. Valentine, educate your employees. Okay, if you're going to carry a brand, they need to know what they're carrying. So, I know it's a discount store, but your managers need the knowledge of what they're selling. Don't ask me who. When I say Carl Lagerfeld, she goes like, who? She was clueless. She ain't know. I showed her the bag. I said something like this. I said, but I don't think it will. it's a new collection I don't, for you guys. This is the first time you guys are selling Carl. I don't think it will be just in your handbag section or willy-nilly. She ain't had a clue. So I said, well, thank you. So they didn't have it. I was disappointed. But they have it at my ball and team, but it's selling like freaking hotcakes. So that's what I had today. Please don't fall. This is my OOTD. Oh, I had my chapeau. All right. When I went to church today, I forgot to put my Chanel pin. <coughs> oh, oh. I was rushing, rushing, rushing. I didn't put the pin. So when I came home, I said, you know what? I got to look a little stylish for my fabulous sisters and brothers out there. So let me put a little Chanel pin and make it look like I'm on 31 Rue Cambon. <laughs> Yes, I'm in Paris, okay? Just, like my husband was like, wee, 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 when she saw my beret, I was like, stop. <laughs> he was speaking, we don't know whether it was French or Georgia or whatever that was, but he tried to speak French. I was like, please stop. But anyway, this is it. Um, what was I wearing today? I was wearing my um, Mugler. This is, um, what's the name of this one? Again, I forgot. This is the, okay, hold on, Jackie. Don't be talking mess. If you don't know what this one, this is the angel. Yes, this is the angel. It's what I was wearing today, Mugler. I feel like I want to smell like Mugler. We have the, we have this one, the alien. And we have the alien goddess. I don't know which is which, but this is Mugler. I've been wearing this a lot. You can see it's gone down a little bit. I've been wearing that too. And this one, I haven't been wearing so much. And this is what made me like Mugler in the first place. So, Woo. delicious. Yummy, yum. So that's what I had on, and I had on my my CC translucent cuff. I have my watch and some bracelets. My daughter, my necklace with my daughter's picture on there, and out of my big chunky Bottega dupe earrings. So I did put on my. Being that it was super cold, I put on my Chanel scarf, and then my big overcoat jacket from H&M so this is all I have to you I mean this is all I have for you today there's no luxury bag today to unbox I'm on a pause when it comes to luxury I'm just gonna keep buying me some affordable bags that I can rock every day every day but you know why not oh I got this beautiful bag this beautiful clutch it matches my mango jacket i got this from timo your girl don't i don't care for timo okay but when i was browsing through it on their app i saw this bottega dupe and i saw a lot of people get it from amazon and i was like wait a minute now should i get it from amazon or should i get it from timo timo was much cheaper so I got it from Timo and I love it. It's going to be a, I have a matching jacket from Mango to go with this. I'm going to rock this together. I don't promote Timo. I really don't. But they are the same as Ailey Showroom, FYI. They're the same company. But um, 
if that's where you want to go get your stuff don't mind me i said i don't promote it but that don't mean i won't shop from there if i see something i like i'm gonna get it but i'm not sending you to go over there because if you come looking all shitty i don't want you to say hey <laughs> jackie what the hell is this no that was me doing a try and error i was like if he doesn't look good it didn't cost me that much maybe 26 dollars i was just gonna check it away or donate it but unfortunately for me, I like it. So, it was a keeper. Hi, guys. And this is my end of my Palm Sunday weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoy just creating content here. Please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for all my beautiful sisters that showed up yesterday and did the sale. Live sale was super long. But I appreciate every last one of you that came by. Robin Peters, Anne Marie, Michelle, you guys are new. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming through. You've been watching me for years, but you finally came through. I appreciate you guys. Um, all my other sisters, Janine. Thank you for holding it down. Claudette, Monica Spader, you guys held it down for me. Thank you, um, Sandra from Canada. Thank you, Deanna Smith. Thank you, Deanna Fierce. Thank you, Sarah A. Thank you, ATL. Thank you, the directress, 1712. I'm trying to think of, I don't want to forget anybody. Thank you, Miss Emma, of all people. Thank you, Miss Emma. And um, who else? Catherine. Miss Catherine Rector. Thank you. And a lot of my other sisters that I haven't seen. And if you were there and I didn't call your name, it's not um, it's not by ill world. My brain sometimes is just mushy, mushy, mush. Thanks to Tracy. Pride for popping in and popping out. Because <laughs> you're always there to support your girl. Somebody else came too. That was not feeling too well, but they showed up. I appreciate you guys. And um, who am I forgetting? If I forget your name, I still love you. I just, my brain sometimes are a little mushy. I appreciate all of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.